What's up everybody, it's Mr. Zach from Kids Science Labs and this week we made our very own houses. We made a blueprint, planned it all out, made sure that the layout was gonna work for our lifestyle and I've got my house right here. Let me show it to you. It is a beautiful two-story modernized house um, with lots of natural light. It has windows all around. It has uh, vibrant paint inside and out, different paneling on the outside, lots of um, just awesome features in there. We have wood floors, we have um, really comfy carpeting, we have two, not one, but two rose bushes out front, and it even has its own working lighting and a sizable patio out back for those nights where you want to be outside but you don't really want to be outside. Anyway, here's my house. Before we move in, I wanted to make sure that it was going to um, be durable, be strong enough, be pretty much weatherized. That in any type of weather we might have over the next hundred years, uh, my stuff inside is going to be protected, my house is going to be feeling good, it's going to be strong, it's going to be durable, it's going to be able to weather any of those storms coming our way. Uh, so I wanted to test different storms, different types of weather that may happen to see if my house can stand up to the challenge. Let's do it. We have five different types of weather to test. We're gonna look at tornadoes with this tray. We're gonna look at rain and flooding. Intense sunlight, is there anywhere for shade? Snow and blizzards. And we're gonna look at earthquakes, shaking the table. Let's get into it. There's some weather rolling in. How are we gonna test with this tray? Now we're gonna try some rain. Next, some flooding. Torrential downpours. We're gonna look at our sun. Now we're gonna let it snow. Pretty good. There's some snow pile up on the roof, especially the flat, the flat roof. We survived winter, it looks like. We're going to do a pipe to shake the table. for my flooding. But I think my house did all right. I think I would not want to be in there now before the windows are installed and the doors. It's still standing strong. It has some uh, paint leakage from all the water. But our electricity is still working. Although, I'm gonna turn that off in the wetness. It looks like we got water underneath some of our shingles. And ooh, these shingles are pretty wet. Kind of coming apart. What would you do to make this house more weatherized? This is some fairly extreme weather, but 
There are places with even more extreme weather than this, uh, and I'm just happy that my structure is still standing. I'm gonna see what happens when this place is dry. We're supposed to move in today, but maybe we'll have to do that tomorrow or next weekend. I'll have to check my schedule. But yeah, I'm feeling good. This is my house. Thanks for doing some tests with me. We'll see you next time.